Hey gang, we're, uh, we're ready to show you the final model that is uh, the prize for my 500 follower giveaway here on Instagram. Uh, those who are watching this feed live, I apologize that everything's in reverse. I'll be flipping it in the final video and showing it to everyone on YouTube, Facebook, everywhere around because I want everyone to, to come join my channel. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a package opening. We're going to open the package as if it were you winning the prize. So here is the package. Imagine this coming in the mail, an envelope, that only that thick. Imagine this is your name if you're the winner and your address. I'm going to send it to you and you open it up and then, uh, what's inside. Look what's inside. It's your prize, if you're the winner. It's Dave Gratham's Coach House. It's a little box that describes what I did. Here's what the package is. I made a, I made a special envelope uh, just for this thing using a texture. If you're wondering about the crinkly paper texture. That's from Lord ZZ Works. Uh, they make some really great paper textures. You can buy them on RPG Now and Wargame Vault. Uh, and I put that behind Dave Gratham's uh, own graphic of the model. Let's, uh, let's open it up. It's a uh, no glue envelope. It's a big one. Here, open it upside down so you all can see how the envelope goes together. We will be assembling these parts that I sent in the mail, or will be sending in the mail, and then disassembling them and putting them back in the envelope. That's what today's video is. So let's uh, put it together, starting with the floor tile and the walls. The wood side of the doors, uh, the walls go inside. Um, if this is a, if this is a little flexed, it's okay. You can flex it up. I have a tool here I'm going to use to make it really easy to insert into the slots. It's not strictly necessary. Um, the garage is in the back where this is, so I'm going to put the uh, tabs facing out for the underneath walls and all the rest of the tabs are in, in the model. I'd like to thank everyone who's been following all my videos and following the channel. I had a lot of fun putting this together. I have a couple of bonus items that I'm going to share in a moment. Got a little crease here. Um, you know what? Actually, I might assemble instead. What I learned in an earlier video is to assemble these three pieces on their own and then insert the tabs. A little easier to, to line up when everything's flat on the table. At least two of them. There we go. Do -do -do. I do 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 a lot. I know. I can slip them in. You can pretty much assemble it in any order. A little fold up on this one. Uh, I'm making a duplicate of this for my own. I will send the, if any of the pieces are in better condition when I do the rebuild, the second build, I will include the improved ones. If I'm making any improvements, I'll include them in this kit instead of these pieces. But these pieces look pretty good. It'll all start holding together in a moment. What I'm going to do, even though I'm not ready for anything else, I'm going to put in the second floor. It'll help stabilize these three pieces together. 
and uh, it has little tabs that fit into slots that are in the doors, in the uh, in the floors here. And, uh, so if you have the first time you assemble it, you might have to stretch out the pockets just a little bit because they'll have been stuffed and flexed and stuff in the mail. So you can see what that looks like inside. The uh, there is actually roofing or ceiling tile as well as the floor. All right, so now this is much more stable. These pieces are all holding each other together in a kind of solid thing. Put on the garage door. Uh, for those who haven't seen yet, uh, these things have light. You can see through the, uh, through the transparent windows. That's kind of fun. So for the walls, the uh, slot is, goes outward. Whereas all the rest of the slots are inward. All right, so there's the basic stuff. Now it turns out um, there's a couple things I wanted to do here. One is to put in lower floor, so I'm going to take this back out because I'm including these cool little interior floors, and there are slots for them in the floor tile. You reach down in there and you'll tuck them into slots and they'll they'll look like that. So two ten by ten rooms. Here's the other one. And you can fold it either way. Two doors next to each other for now. Oh. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's not the, the upstairs room. There's the ten by ten. by 10 rooms. Let's see if we can get a good view on it here. There you go. We'll put the upper floor back on. Um, before we put the back on, I'll put the upper floor room in, which is a uh, 10 by 15 room master bedroom or something. Who knows what the second floor room is. There's a room for a uh, staircase entrance up here. So that's why this room is like this. So we can have some kind of storage in the upper floor. And this is all in that envelope. All right. Uh, let me show some of the props before I go anywhere. I've got a full flat staircase of my own design that holds minis, and you just fold in the back. Like so. It's a pop, basically a pop-up with a fold-in back. You pop that in. Now you have a staircase. You can hold minis. Here's a mini. See mini climbing the staircase. And we're gonna say that that lives right there. I'm gonna hold it in place. Um, so you can see. Yeah. Let me turn this around. Be easier to see. I've got it underneath this tab. You know, let me put this wall in. Until this wall is in, it's gonna be a little harder to see. So put in the back wall. Which has a tab for the floor and the two sides. I'm going to start with the two sides. As I mentioned in construction, the um, Dave Graffin model original doesn't have, uh, assumes there is no floor below where the lower roof attaches, so I had to extend the floor a little bit. So it's the only time I really had to change the model to get this effect, and that's because I wanted it to look like it had a complete floor on the second floor. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tab in there. There we go. Now it's hooked on the floor. Probably would have been wiser not to try to put in the uh, spare room so early, but, but I wanted to show it off anyway. Back wall is 
comes in. So this is the playable surface. Now I can put in the, uh, the, the staircase. And you can see what I have in mind here. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll take the camera down in a minute and uh, show you what it looks like from the top. But it's got a staircase in it now. Um, so I'm going to reverse that so the staircase is going into the coach house area. There we go. Well, that's much better. And it looks like it goes up to the second floor. Let me show you how the roofs work. Um, this is the, the uh, this roof, smaller on the roof. Pretty straightforward, just has two slots that stick into the long walls. points on the side to kind of keep it where it needs to be. Uh, I'll show you another piece of furniture here. This is a, uh, a modified version of the Fat Dragon kitchen hearth. I changed it just to be a tuck box, which is a really easy modification, but otherwise the texture is exactly the same as it was. And I just make a, you know two closable tuck box ends. And it's the simplest fold flat mod you can make, I think. And then you've got yourself a stove. Get in there. You know, I think I'm gonna make the tabs longer when I make the next one, so I get a nice. Doesn't tend to pop up. So you get a stove, and uh, I'm gonna put that in uh, the area with the coach, and it's gonna line up sort of with where I'm putting the um, fireplace on the uh, on the lower roof. Decided to put the fireplace, I also made a full fat fireplace. Again, it's just a tuck box top on the existing fireplace that comes with it. Just change the cuts so that you get a little tuck in top like that. A little, little fireplace and then uh, little slits on the roof, which I'm going to open a little bit because it got nice and flat in storage. Come here, open slot. Just tuck right in there. This is how you tuck a fireplace, or a full flat fireplace and a full flat roof. Uh, this uh, r roof attaches a couple of places, not only on the longs, but there's two slits here, which were the original glue spots in the uh, original design, but I changed them into slits. Again, I'm going to open these up a little bit so it's just easier to. Uh, that to catch. I like that. I like that. And now I just tuck in the uh, tuck in the sides. Should have opened the sides before I did this. Sorry about that. There we go. That's one. And one last tuck. Made it. 
full class. I'd love to staircase out, but you get the idea. Um, I'm going to put together the model with a bunch of uh, minis in it and, and furniture and put some lights in it. You know what? Before we hang on, I'll get my uh, hang on, I'll get a light so you guys can see that effect at least. Let's do some tea light time here. Got a nice little tea light here. Tuck it in the roof here. Tuck it on the second floor. The tea light on the second floor. I don't worry too much about the roof. I don't know, I just want to show the effect. Hopefully, you can see the tea light. I'm going to pull that out of the way. You can see the tea light flashing in there. Same thing gonna happen on the bottom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, uh, put some scenes in there and take some close-up photos, on post them on my Instagram account so you can see what the cool, how cool it looks when you can look inside and stuff. Um, so that's the build. That's everything that comes with it. As is, uh, we've got until I've got 500 followers on Instagram to give this away. Um, until that time, I will probably make some small improvements. But to a first approximation, this is everything you get. If anyone has suggestions from some full flat feature they might like to see in it, I like inventing them. I've got enough time. Uh, I'll be happy to add a few more pieces of paper uh, as long as I'm, you know, I'll make a duplicate for myself. Uh, so let's disassemble it and put it back in the envelope so you can all see how that works. And someone can start the timer. Bam. Fireplace. Upper floor, those floors, fireplace, back wall, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. disassembled. Well, that's less than a minute, right? Hang on, let's get the envelope, let's stack everything up. Some these guys are a little big, so I'm gonna put them in diagonal so we don't lose the tips. And once everything has to fit on the tile, kind of distribute it around so that it makes an e as evenly thin pile as possible. But you can see I'm not that fiddly about it. Don't don't forget the fireplace. I'm gonna slip that in the middle somewhere. Here's the envelope. You put everything over the slot. There's a place with a slot. You uh, tuck it in. Uh, you fold the triangle first, or the one up the middle, like that, and this will fold over and tuck. Again, having a little thing to help you make the slits more obvious. And voila! That's it. That's what everyone's going, or what the winner's going to get. Oh, I forgot the. I forgot the. Uh, Staircase, hang on. Open the staircase. Full flat staircase. That is completely free if you make stuff. Go to uh, Cardboard Warriors, uh, ProBoards.com, and type in full flat staircase, and you'll find the model so you can add your own, design your own for your own games. Uh, I have uh, one with six different sizes uh, from one inch to three inches tall and half inch increments, I think. All right, so I put that in there, wrap it up, and stick it away. There we go. Help me get uh, 500 Instagram followers, and then uh, you'll have a chance at winning this. And uh, thanks for everybody's support along the way. Bye.